Oh, yeah. Cheers and salutations. Welcome, everybody, to Chicago Reacts. My name is Kit. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that ring bell notification. That way, all you awesome, hip, cool cats are made aware when we upload new content. You guessed it upon our YouTube channel. And today, 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 uh, look, um, you, the audience, have requested that I check out more from Whistling Beasel. And one in particular that really caught everyone's attention, what, or at least what you guys want us to check out, is titled Toyota Hilux Durability Test Number 1. So, already, I'm really impressed with, uh, first of all, number one, Smiling James and uh, the, oh my goodness, the Cybertruck test. And uh, I'm hoping for a follow-up video, which, uh, by the way, again, um... I saw another cyber truck on the road. I was going to the grocery store. Uh, you know, I had to go. I, I had a lot of errands to do, you know, from the north side all the way to the south side of Chicago. And uh, I got to tell you, you know, after seeing Whistling Diesel's uh, video about all the good things and the bad things of the cyber truck, I got to say, I'm going to keep the distance away. You know, just one of those things. It, it's a video that's made an impact on me. And I do hope that Tesla will be able to fix the problems or use it as do a recall. Otherwise, Smiling James is going to be rolling in the dough. Better call Smiling James. Well, be better call Saul. Well, be better call Smiling. Anyways, anyways, folks, the original link to the video in the description box below. So let's enjoy this video in a three, a two, and an uno. Let's check it out. How many tries did they do that? Welcome, friends, to the next first episode of Hilux testing. Are Toyota Hil Helixes just as durable as Top Gear says they are? Did you actually drop one from a building? Today, not today, we don't find that out. But today, we find out how is the Helix under normal driving conditions with Whistle Diesel driving it? Will it really hold up? So today, we're just going to see what it's like a normal day on the farm. Normal conditions what a normal person would do averagely just feeding cows over the course of 25 years in one day so no crazy tests just averageness good here we go seems reasonable what could go wrong which by the way also i can't believe maybe i'm getting senile but i remember old school coca-cola classic top gear oh those shows are great my favorite episode was uh, the train versus car versus motorcycle race. I was rooting for the train. And as soon as our boy got up there, all dirty from the coal, and he lost, still a glorious finish and a great episode. 10 out of 10, really good stuff. But I do remember all the Toyota tests. So, all right, without further ado, let's continue on. Okay. How can we start this in the most gentlest way possible? What's just a normal average thing a farmer would, like, you know, a farmer buys it, mom taking her kids to school, what's the most average little thing that could go wrong? Go. Slamming a door. Slamming a door, right? Right, you go home, your kid, your kid's like, you're like, hey, dad. They slam your door. Doesn't that just grind your door jams? We're gonna slam the door as hard as humanly possible a thousand times. One. That's a hard slam. That was a hard slam. That's gonna be. That could do some damage doing that a thousand times. That's, yeah. So <laughs> you made it five door slams, and the handle doesn't work. You must have knocked the rod off inside. The uh, that's all yeah. it took? Are you kidding me? I was expecting the, like six hundred. Those are hard slams, though. Yeah, like, those were like the <laughs> living crap out. The window doesn't roll down now. Oh. No. I can pop that door panel off and put that rod back but on. But the point is, Jason, that it's the most indestructible truck in the world. I'm so just... So it shouldn't have done that. <sighs> okay, we're going to switch to the rear door. We'll see how many slams that one lasts. 
Come on. Uh, 466. God damn. So I think we found a more powerful way to slam it here, so. That definitely saved. It's good. You just put a dent in the door, dude. The whole door. The entire door got dented up. Ninety-nine. Last slam. Here we go. Let's see if it opens. Uh -huh. The panel. No, I'm started. not. I'm not surprised. Okay. Look, I dented is, the cab. Yeah, I saw that. Those I started denting off. the cab in because the stop goes right there. It's mm. through the metal. Yeah. So that's from me slamming it right here, my arm here. So I creased the metal. Oh, the trim piece started coming off. From the separated inside. here. Separated there, so. Oh, it did. Not too bad. The door is not That's meant impressive. to slam in the middle, but I did all that by hand. Obviously. Obviously. What's another test? What do? Maybe the tailgate. Tailgate uh, cables break all the time and stuff. Yeah. This little Toyota gate is heavier than like a new Silverado tailgate, which is huge. That's pretty impressive, actually. Yeah, that is. That's. We're bending the latches a little bit, but it still works fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Right now, we need to properly simulate a good 30 years of just average driving, which boils down to 10 minutes of extremely rough driving to properly do it right. Side. Hey. Wrong side. I do that <laughs> like every day. This. Okay. Okay. Wait, what's gonna happen? You're going to the store, you're getting groceries. You have no choice but to load your Hilux up with 2,500 pounds of bricks. If I bought one, I would want to make sure that it could do this. Hey, what? Dude, no. Get... <laughs> I'll decide. problem? Ah, the brain ain't working. It's okay. It's the temp Every time single time. Oh! Dude, you got like six inches of air. I got like three feet of air that time. <laughs> ah. Starting to separate a little bit. Okay. What? No! No! Okay. I, I look. I, I know it's a little bit too late to say this already, but please don't do this at home. Yeah, I'm, I don't know how that did that. How did that do that? Toyota Engineering, the best there is. I thought for sure the axle was gonna, like I was getting air in the front every time. Uh-huh. Oh wait. I think you're supposed to go the other went way. the wrong the way with it. I was trying to load the skid loader too. Uh huh. We're going to see what happens to a Hilux bed when you drop one cinder block on it. Just one? 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, a pallet. A pallet. Oh, a pallet. A pallet of cinder blocks. Okay. Ah! Still meant. Not part of the working party to clean it up. This truck blows my mind, dude. They have a headache rack from the factory so the glass didn't break. Yep. I dumped a whole ass pallet of bricks. What do you do? Don't, no, 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 dude. Listen. Who, who doesn't like a good YouTube view, but don't, don't drive in the swamps with unwrapped cinder blocks. I hope that doesn't happen. I, I. Now I'm just going to drive over all these. What do you think? It's going to make it? Back over the skid loader. There you go. No. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know, just remember, safety guidelines, a helmet, goggles, gl oh, never mind, it's not, it doesn't matter. This thing is insanely durable, like, like, I've never, this is off the charts, I've never seen anything take a beating like, like this. <laughs> Okay. That's a big tree. Turn around. Okay. Well, that didn't sound good. Where's that Bigfoot? Still good. What are you gonna do? It's really not, it's just minor cosmetic damage. These things happen. Right. I'm, I'm getting anxiety from looking at this man. Come on, dude. Just take it easy, cause, cause you know. Next thing you know, he he drives the thing over like a cliff or something. Maybe uh, slow down for that turn a little bit next time. Yeah. Why? Why is ideas? Okay. Just, just an average day, just an average day on the farm. <laughs> One question, you may wonder, how durable is the interior? Like a lot of McLarens and Mazda 3s have bad interiors. So how durable is the interior on the most durable, indestructible truck in the world? So we should test some of that out really quick. I know no one really cares, but I feel like it's a... Uh... We should do it. Safety first. So we're gonna test out the interior. We'll just um, fidget around with it. 
Like, it, let's say you have your uncle's cousin-in-law in here, and you're, okay. You're adjusting your wheel. How often does your wheel snap off? I don't know. Sounds pretty unhealthy. Please don't drive like that. Please don't do that. Please don't. Please don't. I got like maybe $5 in my wallet. I'll pay you $5 not to do that. That's pretty durable. You know, some Toyota fanboys is cringing. Let's, um, the switches. Do they pluck off like any? Here, hold up. There. Okay, go. Okay, that's actually. It's in there pretty good. Rip it off already. There, there you go. go. There you go. That was durable. All right. Pop right back on. Yeah. All right, that works. Go. Okay. You know, one time I stuck my finger in one of these to see if it was hot, and my finger was burnt. Um. That works. Ooh, those are plastic. <laughs> Yeah, those will break off real fast. Oh. <laughs> no way. That's badass. Even more space. Sick. Awesome. I thought we broke it. We just found another. Oh, there's another. Oh, That's nice. right. Nice. I wasn't expecting that. Man. All right. Hey, new discovery. Achievement. Gunk. Unlocked. Oh, whoa. Is that an animal? No, okay. I know that oh, it's a dog. Oh, it's a dog. Okay. What's another? I thought that was a cougar there for a second. Another thing. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Punch the light. It's nice. I don't know, man. It seems pretty durable. I give the interior a 10 out of 10, and that's saying a lot. Visors. You can hook your toe straps on those. No. Sounds like a good way to get run over. Yeah, it does. Stop. No, that was a dog. Too bad I can't have it go a little. Put it in one hot, but too high, maybe. Uh, I can go. In... No, you're not. Stupid. <laughs> and she just scooting right across the field with a load of bricks. Think about that. That's impressive. Hey, sir, can you stop? Hey, sir, excuse me, sir. It's a ghost car. No, you're gonna... No, sir, excuse me. No, sir. Sir! You didn't listen. Dude. Are you on drugs? <laughs> Are you on drugs, sir? <laughs> License. Get the hell out. Get out. Now. License and registration, please. It's like an, an ant walks out. <laughs> License. It's like a little dude like this. <laughs> They have no clue what I'm talking about. Yeah, what is wrong with you? This is what happens when we get bored and we can't... I was like, we need some more destruction ideas. Why don't we just put Ghost it... Ghost ride the truck. <laughs> go, go. Well, I'm pretty sure now after the views that he did with the uh, Cybertruck, I'm pretty sure he can maybe rent out a helicopter, pick that thing up, and... You, you may not have a build, a tall building on the farm, but you at least get a helo. Yank that sucker up. Brrr, and then drop it. You might go even higher than, you know, building, maybe. Ghost riding the school zone. Ah! Don't do that! Just well, close the door, come on. Now your door doesn't seem to shut too well. I don't know. I told you it was a bad idea. No. I had to bend the frame though, because my door won't shut. Yeah, it probably did bend the frame a little bit. Current durability rating, 10 out of 10, and that's rare.
Okay. All right. Uh, what to say? What to say? Um, all right. Um, I'm impressed. I remember the old days of Top Gear when they did those tests. Um, the only difference is, at least from what I remember, but maybe it's because I'm getting old and senile. At least the guys at Top Gear, there, there might have sort of been some kind of safety rules put in place. Maybe not the best, but they were there. Whistling, hey, you know what? I guess he's built different. Maybe, maybe he's a Primark. Who knows? I don't know. Give or take. However, do not try this at home. But I would say to anyone that is watching this right now, um, it's a nice commercial for Toyota to once again capitalize on it. When this video come out three years ago, with only 16 million views, shame. It should be at 50 million views. Um, 2021, what what is Innocent year that was, wasn't it? Um, but uh, <laughs> um, if you are the old, proud owner of a Toyota Helix, Hilux, Helix, what what have you used it for? Do you still have it functioning? T regale us with tales of victories and defeat. And did you ever have to take your old Toyota out to the field and put it out its misery like they did with old Yeller? Let us know, and if this is the kind of content you guys want us to check out and does it get worse, um, type in the comment section below because I don't think my heart can take anymore. That was a lot of crazy stuff. Please don't try that at home, folks.